Welcome back to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play another one of these resource gathering games. This one's published by Oliver Entertainment. It's called New Yankee 9, The Evil Spellbook. It's similar to something like Viking Heroes that we played in this channel or Hermes the Sybil's Prophecy and so on. Want to go on an unforgettable Mediterranean cruise? It's easy peasy. First, revive a spellbook by dropping it into a cauldron of experimental potion. Then, follow its advice and travel back in time to the Trojan War right into the heart of Odysseus' camp. And voila! Enjoy the cruise! But remember, there might be a surprise waiting for you upon your return home. What the hell is going on? Did the gardener lose his mind or use too much fertilizer? What's up with those huge paper holes guarding the gate to our castle? I love that we've got paper holes. They look pretty fancy too. Those holes might be paper, but their halberds are made of iron and look really sharp. Also, my nose is nowhere near that ugly, and why is that bounty so small? I knew I'd need this dubious recipe one day. I don't know about science, but magic suggests water remembers things. Tomorrow, spellbook's dirty tricks. I knew we ended up in ancient Greece for a reason. Darn it, that obsolete folly also broke the mirror between the worlds. We can't go back to our ranch without it. Oh my god, King Arthur and Queen Guinevere appear to be spellbound. Either that or they will have finally lost their minds. Let's take stock of our situation. We're wanted fugitives. Puppets are sitting on the throne. The mirror is broken. We're in the middle of a jungle. This means war. What about the royal advice or device raven hidden up here in the mist above the lake? We need to find a hunting horn that ostrich always heeds its call. Let's gather the workers who are still loyal to us and clean this place up. Alright, so the way this works is that you click on different um, sort of objects and you gather stuff from them. Some, so in this case this is going to give us food. Sometimes you have to pay something in order to get there. For example, in order to remove this pile of rocks we need to pay our workers some food and also give them some gold. We also have here on the left have a timer within which we need to finish the goal in order to get our stars, which we can then use presumably for other things. I'm actually not sure if we can, but typically in these games you can use it for other things. And we need to get this food and we're gonna soon need to go through here to sort of free this worker. For this we need 30 food and 30 gold. We've got the food, but not the gold. So we should be able to get it once we move inside the stump. Hopefully it's going to be very soon. Much more for me to do to, to tell the other worker to do. We only have one, yeah. Alright, so here we can get some additional resources. I love this bunny moving here, it's very pretty. I love the animals moving around, that's very, very nice. Come on. Get me my gold so I can get my second worker. Because it's a lot easier if you've got more than one. You can multitask this way, it's kind of like everything's taking so small. Thank you so much for driving me! You're welcome. Alright, now we gotta chop down these trees so that we can build this house and get ourselves another worker. And then we're gonna move here to this to remove this pit. Alright, let's do that first. Build a house. And then we'll remove the pit. So let's go. Now one thing I've noticed in this game is that the decorations, like these flowers, they're very integrated with the environment. Which creates a bit of a problem, at least for me, that it's not immediately obvious to me on like what is clickable and what isn't. So I wish there was like a bit more of an immediate difference because, yeah. So it can be, because like you, you want to click on things and, for, and oftentimes in these games there's some sort of like a secret um, mechanic where you have to find like in, in one of the games we played previously it was like a barrel. If you click on barrels you get some extra bonus like speed up your workers and things like that and because all of these decorations are very integrated it's not immediately obvious like what's clickable and what not so it can be even harder to find these bonus things and things like that. Or maybe just me, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we gotta get to this chest where we can find the hunting horn. Should be hopefully useful for us. What do we need for that? We need 30 wood to remove the pit. We should have that and then just open the chest something else. But see, like, for example, this Ananas here. Like, you would think that's clickable, but it's actually not. Alright, let's open the chest and let's go. My lady, my lord, I'm so thrilled you're here. Hundreds of sorrows reigned over the kingdom while you were away. 
Keep the fancy greeting, peasant, and get to the point. Report briefly and currently. The spellbook is running a mock, claiming to be acting on behalf of the king. He's changing the climate to grow tropical plants and forming alliances with evil forces. <laughs> right, because tropical plants and evil forces are totally on like the equal amount of evilness. Like, you know, like just, you know, how dare he make tropical plants? Like the evil forces I could understand, but tropical plants? Like, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Do you know how to lift the spell of Artem Guinevere? We need to free them before they turn all of their subjects into gardeners. No, but I know someone who does. The Lady of the Lake. But who can find her in this mess? Oh, this guy's the same voice as the crow. If I had a workshop, I could make... If I had a workshop, I could make a compost. Hey, I should build a workshop. Alright, let me build a workshop for you. Let's first of all grab some of the resources that's just kind of like lying around like these branches. Yeah, we need wood to repair this these bridges and then we're going to need we need to go into the bridge first we could cast a spell at this altar grow every tree is chopped down well that's actually quite good let's fix this bridge get some mana so we can get ourselves some spells oh and we also need to get to that worker if we could grab this puzzle piece pick up every piece you find reveal the picture and the bonus features okay we'll check that after Get some more food. We, okay, now we have enough to get ourselves more trees. So the trees we chop down, we can we can cut them back, which is great. We're also going to need a little extra gold to get to that worker, which I would like. We need to make a compass and acquire four workers. Okay, so we're gonna work on the workers first. All right, we can we can open that still. We need more food in order to open that. Let's grab everything that we've got here. Build this house. And get even more mana so we can regrow the trees again. I mean, actually, do we need to regrow the trees? Probably not. So we should maybe wait on that. Because we haven't even cut down the rest of the trees. Come on, I need my food. Okay, good. Now we can remove the pile of rocks, get ourselves a third worker. Fourth is going to come from this house. And we're just going to start moving towards that workshop over there. We're grabbing the mana. I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe I should have unclicked that, but that's alright. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Let's cut these trees. Okay, we've got all four workers. Next, remove the pit and get that, and also build the bridge. We gotta build the bridge. We should have the enough wood. Actually, no. So we are going to need to or grow the trees again. That's alright. We can do that. I'm not stressed about that whatsoever. Let's get some more wood. The goblin guy. We don't need to talk to him. It's just kind of there. Open the chest. We're gonna get ourselves. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get there, but we'll find out. Build a workshop. What do we need for a workshop? More wood and gold. I can grab the gold from the stump and from this. I do love that they have like just like a bags of gold just lying around. Wouldn't that be nice? Just kind of walk around. Hey, you find yourself a bag of gold. No problem. Like that's cool. Like hand out bags of gold. <laughs> Should I write a petition for that? Hand out bags of gold, please. A goblin can make items you need in his workshop. Oh, I called him a goblin. He's a gremlin. I apologize for that. It's all right. It's a common mistake. I li I listen to both. It's a very beautiful workshop. I quite like the view of this. Very much a fan. I've made this for three stars again. Now let's do another one. See what we've got here. I see something shiny in the overgrowth. It looks like a piece of the magic mirror. We need it. You should open that shiny chest too. There's a reason someone is using magic to protect it. I think the 2D plant guarding the chest might not like that. It's time to swing my sword. Oh, we've got a <laughs> meat eating plant. 2D plant. Those plants are blocking the way. We gotta cut them down. Okay, we're gonna do it eventually. First, let's grab all the gold and mana and everything we've got around. This pile of gold so we can get ourselves a new work. I should have done that first, but okay. In this mill, cast this pull of this auto to speed up your workers. Yeah, we'll do that soon. You need food for the rotten log. Okay, we need to remove this thing. More food here. More gold over there as well. Let's remove this fair. Now, they should be sped up now. For this, we need 100 food. Come on, that's a lot of food. The, yeah, we gotta put a worker there. So we're gonna get, send a worker there as soon as we get them. So finish the house. So now, let's send a worker there to work there permanently. Yeah, okay, we gotta remove him again. Now go back in. Alright, we need more 
gold. We need to chop up this rotten log, which is gonna cost food again. How much food I've got? 40, but I can grab more. Thing is, this gives me- how much this gives me? 20, I think? We're mining the gold, but I think we just need the food right now. Maybe we shouldn't be mining the gold so much. Because we're gonna need to move through these other things. I could also just like speed up my people, because why not? Let's get more food. We, we can remove the spit as well, get towards the tulip plant, and then to grab our chest. And we need more wood, which we can only get once we remove this plant, so we gotta go at this plant next. Oh, actually we have some trees here as well. We just click on all the gold and all the trees, and then we're gonna remove this one first to get more to more trees, and then we'll go towards this chest there. Or... Yeah, 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 then the chest and then, then this piece of mirror. More trees, please? More food as well? Now we could build another house. Do we need another worker? Lift the spell, chop down the two plants, grab the piece of mirror. We don't. We don't. Do we still want to do it? I'm not sure that we do actually. We've got 90. I think we have enough enough people. Hall is just like sitting in there and drinking. That's kind of cool. Because, because like, it kind of cost me 40 wood. I don't really need the wood for anything else though. And they're not doing anything, so just do it. We remove that plant, now we're gonna remove the lock, and we need again 100 food, which is gonna take a while. Can I send... no, I cannot send two. Sometimes uh, there are buildings to which you can send more than one person, but clearly that is not the case right now. It's alright though. Alright. All of them are just kind of walking around. Oh, they start running when they got a job to do, but then just walk very slowly around. Like, you would think if they know that this is how it works, they would... oh, we need 100 mana? they would kind of always walk fast, you know, because they would like to like pretend that they have stuff to do so that we can give them new orders, but instead they're like, no, just gonna let everybody know that I've got nothing to do so that you can boss me around. All right, so let's go here, grab some more mana, remove this pit and the pile of stones, which is gonna cost us a lot of food. Let's first remove the, the tutti plant before we go at this pile of rocks. Oh, we're almost out of time, fortunately. We can wrap the mirror though now, which is great. And... Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it in time, I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Spend too much time chit-chatting. And lazing around instead of working. Go, 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 grab it! Mary, hurry! It's the last thing we gotta do, can, I, can she do it before we lose the point? I've been thinking, if you collect enough pieces of the mirror, I could try to fix it. He's just said and done, Ears. The book gave it a really good blow. Its pieces are scattered all over the kingdom. All of the book destroys things. It's kind of funny. Let's use my dragons to spot the pieces from above. There's a small problem with that, my lady. The book locked your dragons in cages and then put the cages in caves. <laughs> she doesn't do things halfway, apparently. Yeah, we made it. We made it in time. Nice. Alright, we can choose a bonus. We can either Mary walks faster and casts spells faster, John walks and fights faster, or Max runs faster. Oh, uh, we'll do Mary. Yes. When I love that you can see it here, that actually like changes the building you can see the thing you bought. That's really, really cool. I love little things like that in this game. That's very, very nice. Do level 4 or the Flying Dutchman? Let's do the Flying Dutchman. Some plants and UFO straight ahead. They're magical golden feathers. My lady could use them against the spell book. Use the mouse cursor to control the ship. Avoid obstacles and choose the easiest route. Okay. Grab the golden feathers to earn a higher ranking. Grab the ball of lightning to destroy nearby obstacles. Grab the shield, obstacles won't hurt the ship while it's active. Okay. And this one left. So this is actually cool, that's nice. So they seem to add every, like an additional sort of like mini games, I guess. That this is really cool, I'm a big fan of this. Especially because you can kind of break up the, the typical gameplay a little bit with this. And we've got the shield, so we can actually just go through this. No stress. Oh, this, this this thing is my favorite, I think. So, it's a bit unfortunate we can't get two at once, but 
guess that's understandable. Why is it not grabbing any more feathers? Okay, now it's grabbing feathers. Could take the hourglass, but I don't think we need it. How many feathers do we need? That's my question. Like, is 20, 20 for a lot or is it like a not great result? Someone tell me the answer to that question, please. <laughs> what? How did we miss that feather? We were just like next to I feel like sometimes the ship's like, no, I want to give you this feather. Like, I'm not feeling it today, you know? There are days where I'm fine with it and there are days where I'm like, nope, I want to give you a feather today. Deal with it. So, you know, that's what we got. 34. Nice. Is that a lot? Alright, so what, what, we can use them for spell books. Can we use them for bonuses as well? No. Hmm, interesting. Got our first ma magic mirror out of 20. Let's do one more level. See if we can figure out what we can use the feathers for. Look, my lady, it's the remnant of the flying ship you used to reach the Black Castle. Can you fix it or take us to the caves where the book imprisoned my dragons? I can remember every detail of my designs, but first we'll have to remove these barricades to clear the launch site. Ouch, those thorny weeds are popping up all over the place. Deal with them, Max. Yeah, Max. We've got a puzzle piece here. The spell will replenish mine wines of gold. Well, okay. Assign a worker to the Druid Temple to acquire more mana. Definitely, go. But I also, I need a lot of wood in order to get... Doghouse is going to give me a new Max who is going to help me with... What do I need him for? To clear the lunch site. Oh yeah, with the stormy things. Okay. So we're going to build that first house, grab the chest to get another thing, and then we're going to build a doghouse because we need him to remove all of these thorns, otherwise we can't move much further. But I do want that next worker. I think that's going to be more helpful. Where's my second worker? Oh, he's working in that. Don't get the mana, just get me a friend. Because like I said, we, we need more workers first, then we're going to worry about the mana. Does this do Philosopher's Stone? Doesn't say, just needs 18 mana. Is that, I think that might be the thing that speeds up the worker's speed. We'll see. Okay, we can build a doghouse now. No, 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 it's the thing that I remember. It reactivates the golds. So like, if this is... We used up all the gold, we can get new one. But that's pretty cool. Alright, are we gonna send somebody there now? And we can send our dog, Max, to go and fix this so we can get towards the house. Oh, do we have enough wood now? Do we not have enough wood? We gotta grab this pile here, apparently. 30 food, so let's grab the food first, then we're gonna take the branches. And then we wanna move towards these barricades, for which, again, we need a lot of food for these things. Because we've been using a lot of the food for this gold over here. And now we can keep moving. We've got our second house, so we're gonna get another worker. And we're gonna send Max to remove this set of wheat. No, still not enough food? Okay. Now. And then next thing is probably going to be removing these barricades, presumably. Or, or no, actually, we're gonna remove that pit there. Well, okay, let's remove this thorny weed as well. In a few more food from the stuff lying around from the garden over there. We have a lot of mana, we probably don't need much more. Send workers to fix the flying rest. We need wood for this. 300 wood. You can assign several workers to the staffs. The number of hats indicates the maximum number. Okay, so where do we get that much wood? Philosopher's Stone? Yeah, the barricades. We need to do the barricades. So if we need more food... I don't know if we need more gold. Presumably... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. So I don't know if you want to bother... Oh yes, we're gonna need the gold for the barricades. Okay, so in that case, let's use the, the stone to reactivate this. We're gonna take a guy away from that and put it to the Flying Dutchman. So he's gonna start using up our wood a little bit. They should be okay, I think. Okay, and let's start removing first barricades. He's, he's getting rid of all of our wood, but I think it's gonna be fine. And we don't have enough mana for another Philosopher's Stone, so we'll see if we need it to get it back, but I think... Maybe... Yeah, there's, there's a lot more barricades left, so I guess we'll send somebody here as well. Send you away from this and work on it later. 
Oh, yeah, okay. We, we want to turn that off. Remove this barricade, get some more food again. We have plenty of time, so we should be alright. Oh, look at this bird flying. So beautiful. Oh, and this, I don't know what this is called in English. Properly. I only know the Czech word, which, um, yeah, probably wouldn't be helpful at this point. But yeah. 50 wood. We need to remove more brackets for which we need more food. Yeah, the stump is gonna give us a lot of food. Great. And then we've got this thing to remove the stone. And we're gonna get another barricade. I'll send one guy to the Flying Dutchman. And we only have two workers running around though. Which is not ideal. Grab all the food you can. Right, we need uh, 40 more gold. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to send somebody towards the Philosopher's off for stone again. I was hoping we don't, but I think we do. So once we get a 10 more mana, we're gonna take this guy away and send him over there. Yeah, now you go, handle it. Grab more food. And then you wanna get this pile of stone going. Yes. And that barricade for which we need more gold. So go grab all the gold you can. All the gold and all the food. Oh, so I thought this would reactivate that, but it didn't seem to do it much. Used up all the mana, didn't get any. So someone's gonna have to go there again, which is unfortunate because I didn't want to let them do that, but... But we do what we gotta do. Alright, this barricade removed. This is gonna give us more food. We don't need another house. We don't need another worker, so we're not gonna bother. We do need the food and the gold continuously. More food! And we'll send someone there. Yeah, we are... How much more? We need just 50 more wood. Okay, so we should be done. Send more workers here. Three workers. And they should use up all our wood and we should be fine. Oh, we need to remove one more barricade. Okay, fine. Fine. I was like, I'm sure I don't need that stuff anymore. Well, we needed a 10 more gold. Now. Yeah. Ah, oh, we didn't make it in time though, that makes me a little sad. It's okay though. Just watch him finish it off. Nice. Yeah, this is not. I really like the score. Best score 17,000, okay. Got the best. Probably only got done in one, so obviously. And if we go here towards the puzzle, you can actually see some of our puzzle pieces. We don't quite know where they belong, but... Oh, did I put that one right? So it didn't make like a... Okay, okay, nice. So you can actually see when it gets right, so that's pretty cool. And here, here we can also see like any badges that we can... We can't have learned anything, but... Yeah. If we were to get some, we could see them over here. Yeah, so I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, write down the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games, other resource gathering games. I'll see you there. Bye bye!